With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, the question here is, match the following. Column 1, A vertical road is hit vertically, B A vertical road is hit horizontally, C A cylindrical tube having a gas is vibrated by a tuning fork, D ripples on water surface. Column 2. First option P pressure wave, second option transverse wave, third one displacement wave and the last one longitudinal wave. So in the column 1, first option is a vertical road is hit vertically. So let us assume this be the vertical road. When the vertical road is hit vertically, then waves travel in the form of compressions and rear refractions. So we know that generally the compressions and rear refractions occurs in longitudinal waves. So when the vertical road is hit vertically, the waves travel in the form of compressions and the rear refraction. Thus we can say that option A will be longitudinal waves. So option A corresponds to longitudinal waves. In the second wave, in the story, in the second one, the vertical road is hit horizontally. If the vertical road is hit horizontally, then the waves travel in the form of transverse waves. This will be the shape of the waves. So we know that when the vertical road, in the above road, if it is hit horizontally, horizontally means along the horizontal line, then the waves will be in the form of transverse waves. So when it is hit along the length, it will be longitudinal waves. When it is hit along the horizontal line, the waves formed will be transverse wave. So the second one corresponds to transverse wave, which is option Q. So B corresponds to option Q. And in the third one, a cylindrical tube having a gas is vibrated by a tuning fork. So we have a cylindrical tube. Here the cylindrical tube having gas. So let this be the gas, some kind of gas in it. And it is vibrated using a tuning fork. With the help of a tuning fork, the gas inside the cylinder is vibrated. Hence we can say that. When the gas inside the cylinder is vibrated using a tuning fork, since it is a closed container, the waves formed here will be pressure waves. So, since the gas is present in a closed container, the waves formed will be pressure waves. So, we know that here the option C corresponds to P. So, the third one that is option C corresponds to option P in the second column which is pressure waves. And in the final question it is shown that ripples on water surface. We know that some kind of stone or something is when thrown into the water, ripples are formed in the water. So actually the ripples in water indicate the displacement waves. So ripples on water surface, when something is thrown onto the water surface, represents the displacement wave. So this will be the fourth one, displacement waves. So option D corresponds to displacement wave which is option R in the second column. So this will be the case. So when a vertical load is hit vertically, the option A corresponds to S, then B corresponds to transverse wave, C corresponds to pressure wave and the final one D corresponds to option R. So this will be the answer. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.